Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. When you left home, you left with a sense of pride that you're going to do a PGDM course. Now you come here and then you realize that the people are way ahead of you. So that pride gets shattered on day one. A class is comprised of 60 students. And all these 60 students are coming from different backgrounds. They are coming from different culture, different upbringing, different parental and societal norms. And when they come to this campus, suddenly they are in the ocean of, you know, uncertainty, ambiguity. They are not mentally settled down. They are not emotionally settled down. And then we as faculties, we walk, we tell them that please come and talk to us, not only clearing your doubts about the subject, but also tell us how do you feel as an individual in this campus? How do you feel as a student in the class? How do you feel as a peer in your own group? And then they open up to us, they come, they talk, they confide, they have that trust. And um, faculty members also take all this conversation to a very mature level. There is no um, restriction uh, between the um, student and faculty to meet each other. Uh, any student can actually walk in to the faculty cabin, whether it is something related to the academics, uh, whether it is something which uh, would require the admin help. Coming after 21 years to a new place with new people is being pretty difficult for me. Also, I'm staying in hostel, so it has been a challenge to uh, do all my works uh, and managing the uh, people here. Faculties have played a major role in this as a, a homely feeling has been given by faculties here. They have been guiding us and giving us the ample of opportunities to experience new challenges and handle it our way uh, with their experiences too. You have a peers who have a work experience, who are coming from tier one cities like Delhi, metros, you know, different cities. And suddenly you feel that you are simply out of the place. So that, that pride which gets shattered, the confidence which gets shattered, the decision whether I have taken right or not gets shattered and then they get into this loop of negative emotional thinking. Is it the right place for me? Am I a right fit over here or not? And when they come and talk to us, we tell them, you are not alone. I was also a student. I also underwent the same journey. I also had these emotional hiccups. We are very transparent in our dealing. Uh, whether it is something related to their academic performance, marks and grades, each and every component is displayed to them. When it is relating to their placements, uh, we bring out a list of uh, eligibility list and the students um, find out whether they are eligible for a particular company or not. I have completed my entire education from Delhi, so I wanted to explore new places which uh, had a mix of crowd. Uh, talking about Delhi, all the colleges have almost the local crowd. So my main motive was to uh, interact with diff uh, students from different ba uh, backgrounds and cultures. So the reason why I chose Pune and Bangalore and I shortlisted all the colleges here because I wanted to uh, experience this cultural diversity. IFIM gives you such ecosystem that students can go and talk to faculty members, faculty members go and talk to students. The brilliant thing over here is there is no one junior and senior in terms of even faculty. Sometimes a simple interaction with a student can be a learning lesson for a faculty also. Uh, we tell the student to define what they want to do and what they want to be. For this we have designed a dual mentorship program. One is a faculty mentor and one is an industry mentor. And we divide the student as per their specialization. So let's say I am a student who has selected finance, I'll get a faculty from the finance area and I'll get a corporate mentor who belongs to the domain of finance, having an experience of uh, minimum 12 to 15 years. That mentor would help me uh, align my corporate related dream to my academic courses and align my selection to that dream which I want to achieve. So I believe that the, many of the failures of life happens when people do not realize that how close they are to you know the success the key of a successful learning is also an effective engagement with the students since we believe in this philosophy in fact ifm also has designed a structure where you engage the students when the students are joining ifm and one is post in you know post learning where they move to the corporate we have around 40 plus industry experts from the top of these industries, you know, you know, they have committed there at least three, four hours in a month 
for a particular set of around 8 to 10 students. So they spend, or students also spend one on one with them, at least for half an hour to one hour every month to review the progress and also make take inputs from them where do they lack and also maybe just you know how do they go because maybe work out an individual development plan itself because unlike every institutions we, we we believe that you know maybe you should know what where you want to be after 10 years down the line right so most of the time we have seen that people just you know go with the specialization just thinking that what are the opportunities at this point of time later on they regret because that is not aligned with their goals there's a mismatch so to avoid that we just did this fantastic program and the feedback is also excellent because we have seen more satisfied people coming out of this this exercises uh, one of the students was you know mentioning me while well, during that time he's good in numbers so he would just take a finance but you know while interacting and just you know uh, talking with different people made him believe that he's also a good salesman he was telling me that he's going to relook at his career because he thinks that he can just maybe take up sales or maybe you know marketing as one of his careers